femoral shaft fractures in children. Fracture of the femur is a common injury and it is one of the most common reasons for pediatric hospitalization due to an orthopedic injury. The treatment depends on the fracture pattern, the location of the fracture, and the age of the patient. Fractures of the femur can be a fracture of the proximal end of the femur, fracture of the shaft of the femur, or fracture of the distal part of the femur. We'll start with fracture of the shaft of the femur. This is a summary for the treatment of the pediatric femoral shaft fractures. So in children younger than six months, the treatment will be pavlic harness. Patient from six months to five years, the patient will be treated with close reduction and immediate spica cast and up to two centimeter of shortening is acceptable. In this age group, if the shortening is more than two to three centimeter, you may want to do traction first to reduce the amount of shortening, then use delayed spica casting. And this technique is not commonly used. When we use spica cast, watch out for the development of compartment syndrome. Avoid 1990 position. It may cause compartment syndrome. If a child with a fractured femur younger than two years or before the walking age, you need to get the social worker involved because the fracture may be a non-accidental trauma, especially in transverse fractures. Now, if the patient between five years and 11 years, then we're going to do surgery. What type of surgery depend on the location of the fracture and also the type of the fracture? If the fracture is in the diaphysis and it is transverse and not comminuted and the child is less than 11 years old and less than 45 kilogram, then you will use retrograde flexible nails. Do not use flexible nails if the patient is older than 11 years old or if the patient's weight is more than 100 to 110 pounds. So how many nails do you use? Use two. How do you decide the size of the nail? Use 80% fill. So we check the diameter of the canal. Let's assume it is 7.5 millimeter. You multiply it by 80%. So that will be 6 millimeter. You divide it by 2 because you're going to use 2 nails. So the answer will be 3 millimeter. So we use 2 flexible nails, size 3 millimeter. So these nails have a higher complication in children more than 45 kilogram or 100 pounds weight. The most common complication of these nails is irritation around the knee, which is related to rod insertion sites, but it resolves with rod removal. So what if the fracture is comminuted? You use submuscular plating. So in a comminuted mid-shaft fracture femur, use a bridge plate. We use plate also in case of proximal or distal fractures because you can control the fracture by flexible rods. The plating also can be done percutaneously and you try to get three screws proximal and three screws distal to the fracture. External fixture is used in dirty open fractures and in polytrauma patients and also used as a damage control in multiple trauma. The external fixture can cause knee stiffness and it also carries the risk of refracture after removal of the external fixture, especially in transverse fractures. In children older than 12 years, you will use lateral 
entry, rigid nail or submuscular plating. The femoral nail should start in the lateral aspect of the greater trochanter. Use a lateral entry point. It is safer. Do not use piriformis start. The main blood supply to the femoral head is the deep branch of the medial femoral circumflex artery. The deep branch of the medial femoral circumflex artery is at or near the piriformis fossa and is vulnerable to be injured with piriformis entry nailing. This may cause a vascular necrosis of the femoral head. Complications Leg length discrepancy with overgrowth is the most common complication in younger patients. It's about half to two centimeter in children below the age of 10, and it typically occurs within two years of the injury. If there is an excessive shortening, more than two to three centimeter, or if there is loss of reduction in the spica cast, then the child can be treated by traction and delayed spica cast or by a different alternative. Each additional centimeter of shortening at presentation doubles the risk of loss of reduction. One centimeter, 12%, two centimeter, 24%, three centimeter, 50%. To avoid the potential for compartment syndrome in the leg, the body and the upper part of the cast should be placed first, followed by the lower leg portion after the initial portion of the cast has been molded and hardened. Insertion of a proximal tibial traction pin may lead to tibial tubercle growth arrest and geno recurvatum deformity. Approximately 50% of fractures treated with flexible nails have about 15 degrees of malalignment. With external flexor, there is an increased risk of refracture after removal of the flexor. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.